Hello everyone and welcome to Coffee with DevOps. My name is Devanshu and today I want to share my views, recommendations and tools to show how Oracle database and technologies can be a significant contributor to your DevOps strategy and overall application development lifecycle. So before proceeding, I'm assuming that you are already familiar with core DevOps concepts and different phases of a CI/CD pipeline. So I will skip that topic and focus mostly around Oracle related DevOps enablement tools. And I've created this uh, sample pipeline to explain how Oracle technologies and options could be used in various phases to complement your existing DevOps pipeline. Also in this pipeline, I have used Jenkins automation server as a core automation engine, which overlaps between various phases of the CI CD pipeline and integrates uh, these phases using different plugins. Okay. So let's begin with first phase of this pipeline, which is code or source code management phase. Now in this phase, basically we are writing or generating source code and managing tracking and versioning changes made to our source code throughout the application development life cycle. Source code could be an application code written in any programming language like C, C++, Java, Python, etc. Or source code could be our database code written in the form of some DDL, DML, or database commands used to define and modify our database schema and its objects. While application source code files are managed through source code and version management tools like Git or GitHub, SVN, Bitbucket, etc., we need a similar mechanism to track, manage, and maintain versions of database source code as well, which is used to build and modify database schema and underlying objects. So we can use Oracle SQL CL and Liquibase open source tool for database source code management, versioning and tracking database changes. Some people even call Liquibase as Git of databases. And you know, even I would agree with this statement. So Oracle's uh, SQL CL or SQL developer command line comes with out of the box integration for Liquibase. So you can continue to use your existing SQL statements, DDL or DML commands with SQL CL. All changes made by you through these DDL or DML statements are captured in background by Liquibase and recorded by SQL CL in a correct sequence and dependency order in, in a XML file called controller.xml. So SQL CL with Liquibase working in background will continue to update this file as and when required by database developers or whosoever is responsible for maintaining database schema or object versions. This is very similar to what application developers uh, do when they commit a change to a Git repository. Okay, so this XML file is like a database source code file, which can be included in your Git repository. So your application teams would now have an end to end visibility of changes performed in application as well as database by looking at single source of truth, which is Git in this case. So now you know that first place to start with your Oracle database DevOps initiative is database source code and version control management, which could be easily achieved through SQL CL and Liquibase. Now, before moving to next phase, I want to talk about ORDS or Oracle REST data services, which is another way to accelerate and contribute towards application development lifecycle. Now, as an Oracle DBA, you can make database schemas, tables, and other objects accessible to your application developers through ORDS facilitated REST API endpoints. So now your application developers can directly call database APIs from their application code and trigger database changes from this, this application code itself without executing additional or separate SQL scripts. So by controlling data access through APIs within the application code, 
your application teams and developers would have better control and flexibility in managing these database changes. You can also create a quick data integration hub kind of application and explore many other use cases of ORDs and REST accessible data services. But that's something which is beyond the scope of this session and requires a deep dive uh, discussion or, or more detailed uh, session. Okay. So let's move on to the next phase of this pipeline, which is build phase. Now in this phase, you would have a Jenkins job, which could pull your source code files from your Git repository and initiate a build process to compile, or I would rather say recompile your source code. Now, if your database source code files have some PLSQL procedures, functions, or packages, then you may use Jenkins SQL plus plugin or a shell script to connect to your database and recompile those procedures or packages. So basically you don't need any additional tool or utility for database build and you can leverage the existing tools and processes used for application build. So for our next phase, which is test, we can leverage Oracle real application testing features like database replay and SQL performance analyzer to perform an automated and end-to-end -end database testing and analyze results before deploying those changes in other environments. And for your release and deployment phase, you can again leverage Jenkins jobs, which could, uh, which would pull your database code or controller.xml files from Git repository and deploy required changes to, to the desired environment or database of your choice based on the information uh, in, in the controller.xml files. So for database provisioning, you can use Oracle database multi-tenant features to create a container style database architecture, or you can even use Oracle database Docker images if you want to leverage your existing container platform for deployments. And for continuous improvement, sorry, uh, for continuous monitoring and operations management automation, Oracle's Enterprise Manager comes with feature-rich capabilities and integration options to leverage your existing ITSM and monitoring tools. So OEM can send tickets and alerts to your monitoring tools and ITSM tools based on the rules and thresholds you define in OEM. And you can also use OEM to automate your database patching, upgrade, and most of the routine IT database uh, operations tasks. Okay, so to summarize, you can use uh, various Oracle technologies, tools, and techniques like SQL, CL, ORDs, multi-tenant, or Docker images, OEM, etc., to automate and contribute towards your DevOps initiatives. And this is just a starting point or small piece of database DevOps story. Please feel free to explore more about Oracle's DevOps strategy at developer.oracle.com slash DevOps. And I have included some useful resources in next slide, which would help you with starting your own database DevOps project. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this video.